Now let's quickly see a rendering of this algorithm. Okay. So first step is first step is going to be same what I have already shown to you. The first step is partition R into R1, R2 to R10 and partition S into S1, S2, S3 till Sn. So this is the first step. Now we have done the first step, we have done the second step, right? Partitioning of R, partitioning of S. Now for the second step what we do is we have SI in the main memory, okay? SI in the main memory. Now in the main memory what we do is we create a hash index, okay? So now what's going to happen is the result is that I'm going to get a hash index of SI. Hash index on SI over here and here is the SI itself. Okay. And here is my RI. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tuple in RI. I'm going to find the corresponding index entry and then I'm going to find the corresponding SI tuples which match this RI's join attribute. And finally I am going to append or concatenate these these results. So what I'm going to get over here is this and this and this and this assuming I have two tuples in SI and one tuple in RI which are matching right. So I have here TR1 TS1 TR1 TS2 and that is my result over here for this particular tuple TR1 and I'll just name it as TS1 TS2 okay so that is the result and that's how I continue till the end. Now let me just give you some restriction that we have on N okay and is the number of partitions. I want that each SI, I'll just write down here, each SI should be able to fit in main memory, okay? Why? So that I can search it faster. I have an hash index over it and if it is in main memory, I'm going to be able to search the corresponding tuple that matches the tuple in RI very fast. Okay. So ideally for this to happen, I keep my N or rather the small N, which is the number of partitions to this particular value. Normally I keep it to this. Okay. This is the ideal value, but typically what I do is I make it into F where F is the fudge factor. Okay. So to be on the safer side, my fudge factor is greater than one. Typically it is 1.2. Okay. So I'm just having 20% extra space over here. Okay. So that is a restriction on N. Okay. Now just realize over here what I'm saying is I want one block for each SI in main memory. Okay. So if I have n partitions my main memory should be look this is the size of main memory size or the number of blocks in main memory let me just write number of blocks okay so my n has to be greater than m minus 1 right because 